Welcome back, everybody. This is Techno Blast on Technos Gaming. Back in December 2018, I made a video when uh, when the mouse uh, feature was added to the Xbox One. And since then, I've been getting a lot of good feedback, a lot of questions. Uh, I've been able to answer some of them, some of them I can't. And so I thought, now uh, let me do a 2022. So nearly uh, three and a few months later, three years and a few months later, I'm back here again making a, another video on the mouse settings because I'm sure by now, since it's been a few years, it has expanded to uh, a lot more than what it was back in 2018. So right now what I'm using is just a simple wireless IBM Lenovo mouse, okay? Just nothing fancy, here you go. Just a wireless mouse. What we're gonna see here, what, what kind of settings does the Xbox system itself has uh, to, to be able to use the mouse. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the settings and then I'm gonna go over to the mouse section. Now here, you only get two different settings. The, the speed of the mouse, like the, the, your pointer, how fast it moves, and if you want to switch your primary secondary mouse buttons if you want to make them you know inverse or normal and that's it that's all you have on the xbox system now depending on the game uh you may have a lot more um a lot more uh, features and settings depending on the game and depending if the game supports mouse and keyboard on the xbox one or the xbox series so right now we're going to go into and jump into um uh, Microsoft Edge, the web browser. All right, guys, so I have the web browser up. As you can tell, here's the little uh, cursor. This is the cursor you get. Now, I've had a lot of questions about, can you change the shape of it? Can you change something visually of the mouse? No, as you saw in the system settings, all you get is the speed and the, the change of the primary and secondary button, and that is it. You don't get to change the look of it. You don't get, get the chance to change the size or anything like that you only get those two settings and that is it and that is on the console level okay so here you know if we want to start shopping we can start shopping i'll just regular you know just do a regular left click to go to a certain part of the of the website and now let's say let's search some top retailers i'll just click on that and there you go and this mouse also has a wheel so i'm able to to you know, use the little wheel and go up and down if I want to. If I click on the text area, then the keyboard comes up, and I'll just use my, you know, um, my controller as a keyboard. Or if you have a keyboard already connected to it, then uh, you can use that as well. So I'll just put Xbox here, and we'll see what happens. And then I go ahead and click here if I want to, and it should be searching. Oh, it's not working. It's not working for some reason. Oh well. Well, anyways, you can click on it. Maybe because I don't have a true return button. Let's see. Uh, nope. Let's click on that. Okay. So that didn't work because I don't have a keyboard on me, I guess, and it's not taken. So we'll continue on here and go ahead and click around. Let's see. JC Pennies. Of course. Let's go look at that and see what they have on sale. So now let's go. Let me go ahead and close these out. And I'll go ahead and go to a game. Let's go to Minecraft. Okay, so now you see that I'm in Minecraft. You can still see my little cursor here that's you know hovering around the game. And say if I want to change some settings. Again, if I had a keyboard, it, you know you can go into the keyboard settings as well. So let's go ahead and go into settings of Minecraft. And let's just see what kind of settings there is for mouse. So there's a sensitivity and a spyglass dampening. I have no idea what that means, but let's see what this does. If this, if it increases or decreases, no, it's probably, it's probably in game. So, and then, you know, if I want to invert or auto jump and then all these are for the, <clears throat> for a keyboard, if you have it connected, I don't have a keyboard connected, so I can't take advantage of that. And that's it. So again, it all depends if the game allows you to play with mouse and keyboard and if they added some more features within the game to give you more mouse options. And that is it. So it's up to the developer and that's it. So don't get upset if you're not getting what you want 
from the Xbox because it's not the Xbox side. It's not their fault. It's not the, the GUI or anything like that. It's the developer of the game if they want to allow any keyboard and mouse capabilities for their game. And if they do, how, man, how many more features will that developer add to the mouse uh, for their game? So that's it, folks. So hopefully it's helped you out a little bit more, a little bit more understanding about keyboard and mouse when it comes to the Xbox uh, platform and to the games and on the system level, what settings are available and what's not available. All right, guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I'll add the original video in the link below where I put it here in the card up in the top somewhere, wherever it's supposed to go. And uh, again, you know, just like what everybody says, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you like my stuff and comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to leave any sort of feedback. All right, guys, this is Techno Blast, and I'll talk to you, like, talk to you guys later. Bye.